Hi there. We're gonna review the Low Pro Edit 120 Plus camera bag. It's uh, it's made of uh, quite a good products. It's got really good padding on the inside. It's feels it's got some weight to it. It's a nice little it's a nice little bag. I'm quite sure it'll protect your equipment very well. It has uh, a durable handle. It has the stitching really well stitched it also has a has a, a loop in the back this does not have a velcro closing like the edit 110 does the kind of wish it did but it doesn't it just have to you have to slide your belt in there and, and hope for the best so there's no quick release on this one it's got the uh, tabs here for the uh, shoulder strap if you want to use a shoulder strap with it it also has uh, two pockets on the side that you can uh, stuff your things in. Actually, uh, I put my GPS in here. It, it's, it's quite roomy and they and the yellow out. So they're pretty generous with the fabric. This also has, uh, on the bottom, it has, uh, has another compartment that, that uh, comes undone you can use this probably for your batteries or something if you want that's what I use it for my extra batteries go in here then on the the lid the lid has a good velcro and then it has a pocket here and it's it bellows out so you can get a good amount of stuff in there it also has three little uh, three little pockets so that you can uh, take memory with you or cords or or whatever so it uh and now that's also seems to be very durable and this has a zipper the zipper uh closes it up and there's also two zippers two zippers on the on the uh, lid here and you pull that back and then there's a pocket, there's a netted pocket on the top of the lid with the zipper. And that closes up nice. And on the inside, there's um, there's like a removable piece in there that you could use. Got you kind of like a hammock for your camera. You can uh, Velcro with that, move that up and down as you want. Kind of gives your camera a bit of suspension in there. So if you drop your bag, your camera's not hitting against anything really hard. So it's uh, really soft on the inside and it feels like there's a lot of padding in there. It's a really good little bag. I, uh, I use it a lot so, and uh, I've never, I'm, I don't have any problems with this other than wishing that this had a Velcro. Um, had velcro on the back of it so that uh, you could zip it off and zip it on, on on your belt quickly but other than that it's a good little bag it's uh it's, it's sturdy well padded low pro does make some good products so it's uh i'll put a link in the description of what where you can find this i think you can find it on amazon i can uh, you can find it you can find it all camera stores will have them but no it's uh good durable product it's uh, something I would recommend it's really handy so if you need a camera bag this one here this is the edit 120 plus so the 120 is probably plus is probably this little extra on the bottom I would I'm assuming but no highly recommend it good bag it's a really good little uh, camera bag so if you're in the market this is a this is a good one to consider for something that's a little smaller, like uh, like a handy cam or s s uh, something like that. I don't think it'll handle a big Canon with uh, with a lens on it, but uh, smaller cameras, this would be uh, this is a good product. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I uh, I'd appreciate it if you give me a. Uh, sub subscribe to my channel give me a like and share the video with your friends if you think if you know think you know somebody that might be looking for a good camera bag that that uh, is made by a good manufacturer so yeah hope you enjoy the video 
and uh, I'll catch you next time. So uh, take care.